The only reason he has closed the University of Nairobi. Comrades, there is nothing like insecurity in the University of Nairobi. The only people who caused insecurity in the University of Nairobi are the police who came here and destroyed property, okay. looted, sexually assaulted, assaulted our students, and did other unthinkable things. As you can see here, no student is armed. We are only armed with our brains. No student is carrying a gun. No student has clobbered another student. Therefore, there is no insecurity. The first cause of insecurity in this university is Professor Peter Mbidi. And as students, we are tired of his regime. We are tired of his oppression. Professor Mbidi has mutilated our student union. He has taken a group of 18 students and given them what he, be, he knows best. And he claims that these students represent the 94,000 students of the University of Nairobi. We are telling him, you cannot sleep, ejaculate, and wake up and start producing names. <laughs> Comrades have the democratic right to elect their leaders. The reason he does not want a student union is because he is looting almost everything in this university. Hey. Students used to own tax shops, needy students. They used to own tax shops which sustain their day-to-day -day lives. Mbidi has looted. He is now the one owning all tax shops in the University of Nairobi. You cannot allow. Comrades have only had one semester this year. And furthermore, our ranking has dropped drastically. Drastically, not just dropped, it has dropped drastically. We are nowhere in the map of ranking. Universities named after dictators and dead men are the ones leading in the ranking of the University of Nairobi. Number, number two, the ethnic profiling of students. Students deemed to be 